It was a quick thing. I brought him down as a bit. A funny ha-ha. The kind of thing you do to make others laugh. But the joke was on me. August 22nd. He was set up in the noise conference room. August 29th. The last picture of him was taken at his last known location. September 14th. VCTV has noir as one of the words to make a short film about for the Vassar Film Festival. I would like to submit something for it, but I can't stop the search. I'm too far into this. The grime of the city is getting to me. Its sin is corroding me. And I have to go all the way across campus to get packages, which is just something that kind of pisses me off. But I have to keep up the search for him. I can't give up on the first other actor I filmed for a video. The hidden star, my first big project. The guy who got me extra credit in junior year for taking a picture with him out in the snow because my English teacher said she would give us extra credit if we went out and played in the snow, but I didn't want to freeze, so I took a picture so stupid that she wouldn't ask any questions. Also, Mrs. Rouse, if you're watching this, I am sorry I lied to you and I'm not over Beowulf. But all my mindless rantings were helping just as much as a pointless and drawn out simile. This whole situation was like a girl in a quadruple with clowns. Fucking bonkers, wacky, and cuckoo. I got close to solving the case once. Found the guy with some info. But the budget couldn't handle recording more than five seconds of it. I failed my friend. Maybe only for now. Maybe forever. But if there is a chance he's out there, that he's not all compressed and turned into an Amazon box, I have to take it. It's on me to get him back. Whatever it takes. Not because of the $40 I spent on him two years ago. It's not about the money. Or the Mets. It's about the memories. Memories of the good times. The bad times. And most importantly, Memories about his words. Words said by a man who knew this would happen. It's about drive. It's about power. This city stays hungry. It continually devours. You put in the work. You put in the hours. And this city takes what's ours.